Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to do a fun New Year's Eve party look with the Dior Party in Colors palette. It's this beautiful rainbow color that I just love so much. So before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So I've sort of been taking like a mini break from YouTube during like the holiday couple of weeks, like, you know, between Christmas and New Year. I'm really confused as to what day it is of the week. Time and space have lost all sense of meaning. I don't know when it is or what day it is. I'm just very like blah, loopy. But I want to do one last video in 2019 before 2020 starts. So I thought I could do like a New Year's look that could be fun. So before I go into my Dior palette, I'm going to go into this Chanel one. And this is the nine shadow palette that came out in the spring called Quintessence. And I'm just going to go into the light color, the one that's more of a transition shade. And I'm just going to place it in the crease here. So as you can tell, I did get my hair straightened a couple days ago. Usually I get it straightened when I get a haircut and I always tell this to my hairdresser and she said, you know, you can just come in for a blowout one day and just get it straightened. So I was like, I'm going to take you up on that. So I decided to do that. I checked her schedule because she has like an online calendar and I think she had a cancellation or something. So I just ran in and got my hair straightened, but I think it's like day three now. So here it's starting to wave here like this doesn't look so straight anymore but i don't know three days is like the maximum i can keep it i think and then i will wash it and it'll be back to curly it's so funny because i don't think that the style of having like pin straight hair is in vogue or in style anymore but whenever i get it straightened i always ask for it to be like completely straightened because after a day or two it starts to wave at the bottom here anyway Okay, so now I'm going to go into this beautiful palette here from Dior called Party in Colors. This is part of the holiday collection. So I'm going to go into that really beautiful blue. And I'm going to go ahead and just use um, one of the sponges that comes with a palette here and just pack it on the lid. I'm going to focus on the outer corner here. So I hope you all had a wonderful holiday, a good Christmas, good Hanukkah, winter solstice, whatever you celebrate. I don't know if you guys can hear, hopefully not, but there's some sort of like freezing rain action going on in Montreal right now. There's like, it sounds like hail almost hitting the window. You can just hear like almost like pebbles. I hope the camera doesn't pick up, or the camera, wow, the microphone doesn't pick up on that. But anyway, that's the weather situation here. We ended up doing a lot over the Christmas break. We, on the 21st, we ended up hosting our own Christmas dinner because we were trying to host a bunch of friends over for Christmas or just for like any for a dinner for the holidays and it was actually much easier to do it before Christmas Day because after that people were just busy and traveling etc so we did it on the 21st like the weekend before and we had a bunch of people over it was really nice I'm gonna go back into that same blue by using a different brush and I'm just going to try to build it up just a little bit out here but not too much I just want to be able to see a bit more of the blue up on the lid here and then we also had Jewish Christmas, which is when we go out for Chinese food on Christmas Day. We actually had dumplings this time, which was really good. So we went out with some friends for that. And we also had Indian Christmas dinner, which is when we got together with different friends on a different day and had Indian food as well. So it's really just been like a lot of seeing friends and loved ones and eating lots of good food, which I think is really the highlight of the holiday season. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the silver color in the middle, again with a small sponge that came with a palette here, and I'm going to place it on the inner corner here. Okay, now there was a little bit of fallout with that dark blue color, so let's go in with a bit of eye cream here, and I know I've shown this to you guys a few times, but just in case you missed, you take a bit of eye cream and then you take a Q-tip and you just roll it around here. And then you just clean up the eyeshadow. The reason I do it like that is that otherwise you kind of tug and irritate the skin under your eyes. And this way you just add more eye cream, which is never a bad thing. So I'm going to go into a foundation. I'm going to use the Dior Forever Skin Glow in 2WO. Did you guys do any Boxing Day shopping? 
I did online in like in my pajamas on the couch like I don't go in store I remember when I was younger I used to go at the mall like on boxing day not anymore it's just not worth it but I did buy um, this new product from Dior it's part of the spring collection it's the new lip oils it's part of like the lip glow collection but these are like hydrating lip oils so I got some of those but I wanted to get like the entire Dior spring collection but it isn't out yet in Canada of course so now I'm just waiting for that it's so funny because leading up to Christmas um, where our condo is it's on a corner and we have windows like on all corners so I kept seeing these like FedEx UPS Canada Post trucks just like barreling down the streets like trying to deliver all the packages before Christmas but yeah did you guys do any Boxing Day shopping did you go in person like in store or did you do or did you do online shopping now for the concealer, I'm going to go into my Clé de Peau concealer in the shade called Almond. So I'm just going to let this sit on my under eyes for a minute. I find that if you let your concealer just sit there for a few seconds, I find it covers more. So I'm just going to sit here and chat with my coffee. I recently discovered something called oat milk. So I love dairy products, but dairy products do not love me, if you know what I mean. So I usually go for non-dairy milks in the morning with my coffee. And I just discovered oat milk. It's so good. I, f I usually go for like soy milk or sometimes almond milk, but the versions that you can heat up and make cappuccinos with, but there's one version of, of oat milk that you can heat up and steam and all that, and it's so good. And it's like really creamy and it's really nice in your coffee. So if you like, and I know that like oat milk is one of those like new trendy foods, but I actually quite like it. Okay, let's go ahead and blend this out. Okay, let's go ahead and set the makeup a bit with the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder in number 20. And then I'm going to go into my bronzer. I'm going to use my Givenchy Healthy Glow Powder in number 3 Amber Season. So when I was online shopping with Sephora, I got the Dior Lip Glow, like I said. Or sorry, lip oil, I should say. But I was disappointed because I thought there was some sort of sale going on at Sephora. There is or was a sale, but it was only on the already sale items. I thought there was one of those, you know, add 10% off on your purchase, but it was really just like add a percentage off of these already discounted items, but none of the discounted items I wanted. I wanted like something new. So I'm excited to see what comes out in the spring for new collections. I'm interested to see what new concealers are going to come out and also new mascaras. And I also am really excited to see what Clé de Peau and Chantecaille both come out with because those are both really beautiful luxury brands. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of blush. This is the Chanel Joux Contrast number 72, Rose Initial. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I also did my nails in accordance to New Year's Eve. This color here is called Subculture and the company is called Cirque Colors or Cirque Nails. It's Cirque Colors, and this is the nail polish here. It is so beautiful, it's like crushed glitter, and it's a shimmer color, but it's not actual glitter. So when you take it off, it comes off like actual nail polish. It's not like glitter that's just like stuck there forever. Anyway, this one is so pretty, and if you have different lighting, it looks more intense and more shimmery. So I'm just really happy that I have this really beautiful sparkly nail polish. Okay, let's go in for a highlighter. Let's go in for something a bit more intense. It's New Year's Eve. This one is for the Duo de Camellia from Chanel. So this one here is pretty intense, but you know what? For New Year's Eve, I think that's appropriate. I'm going to go ahead and take that same highlighter and just place it on the inner corner here just to have more glow. I think I definitely went overboard with the highlighter, but oh well. I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of black liner. This is the Chanel Ciel number 88. But if you had a blue one or maybe a purple one also that was like close to this color, I think this would also work really well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use a small tapered brush and go into that blue shade and just smudge it under the bottom lashes here. Okay, now let's go in with lots and lots of mascara. I'm using the Volume de Chanel. Let's go in with some lipstick. I'm going to go ahead and use my Lisa Eldridge in Velvet Fawn. This is just the beautiful, like, perfect nude. 
I kind of like going over my lips with this lipstick because it's so nude so you don't really notice it as much okay i think this about does it for the look it's not super complicated but these colors are so pretty i think this formula is absolutely stunning i love this dior holiday palette i know it's not for everyone because it is very bold and beautiful but like if you have it you know it's wonderful and if you're on the fence it's totally worth it. I love it. I love how easily these shadows just blend together. And I love how sparkly and iridescent they are. I love this palette so much. I can't get enough. And I think this is really fun for New Year's Eve. I love the silver and blue. It's like the fireworks colors and lots of highlighter and a nude lip. It just makes it easier with a really dark color. And yeah, I think this is a really pretty look. It looks really stunning, but... As you saw, it's not that complicated. There aren't many colors to, that you're adding or blending out. There's really only three, so it's pretty simple to do at home. So I think this is our last video for 2019. I will be back next week. I've been kind of taking a mini vacation from YouTube. I did one video the week of Christmas and then one video the week of New Year's Eve. I don't know, I've just been kind of taking it relaxed because everyone deserves a vacation, but in January I'll be back to normal and I will I will finish my best of series, so best of perfumes of 2019, best nail polish, best skincare. I did my best makeup of 2019, so I'll put that down below in the description box if you want to go check out my makeup recommendations for the year. I really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for what a beautiful year it has been here on YouTube with you guys. My channel has grown so much this year. I started out with around 2,000 subscribers at the beginning of 2019, and I am at 6,700 as we speak, so thank you so much thank you for your support thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for sharing with your friends it really means a lot to me because i literally wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys i hope you all have a beautiful day i'm wishing you all love health happiness money luxury makeup in 2020 i hope you guys have had a beautiful holiday season I hope you guys are happy. Yeah, happy. That's what I wish for you. I hope you guys have lots of happiness in the next year. I think you all deserve it. So again, thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me. And I think this is all I have for the video. So thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.